day two race number 15 on the card is the Prince Philip Challenge Trophy. Latimer Upper School Attention. against Melbourne Girls Grammar School of Australia. Go. So many Australian boats over to compete, and here's the latest in the Junior Women's Eights Prince Philip Challenge Trophy. New name for this event. Yes, previously the junior, junior women's eights, wasn't it? And, and Melbourne Grammar, really, the blade work there, the oars just covering really quickly there off the start there, which is uh, giving them an early lead over, over Latimer after school bit. Yeah, so the Australians establishing that early lead. I'm hoping all the, the fans back home in Melbourne are, are tuning in late tonight on Wednesday um, to see this uh, just great start from their, from their school. They've raced previously in, the, in the, the boys' equivalent events, haven't they? But it's the first time we've seen the girls racing over here, so great to have them part of the, uh, the entry. It's quite a kind draw for supporters over in Melbourne, isn't it? It's been a uh, three o'clock in the afternoon local time here. That had tested you more. Yeah, that's it. I, you know, I think there's some, there's some fun, isn't there? It's dialing in, you know, like setting an alarm clock and waking up at three in the morning to watch your... Uh, your loved ones race but no this is as you say it's a a, a pleasant time for them to be uh, watching after dinner yeah the uh, the fun wore off after a couple of weeks watching the tokyo olympics from henley last year <laughs> but this is a, this is a great row from 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 melbourne grammar school here they're uh, you know they've, they've they've put in a they've broken clear water there on latimer upper school um so melbourne girls at grammar school See the boat there in the bow seat, Georgie Goff. And then the coup, Fulks, Balding, Nan, Dean, Glover, McKennan in the stroke seat. And there's the Cox, Alexandra Williams, 17 years old. What a trip over in Australia. Started rowing in 2018, the Cox, but made the switch to Coxing rather than rowing in 2019. Some experience, isn't it, to travel over from Melbourne. Yeah, there's a lot of front raising to uh, to bring them over actually, and uh, and it's good to see that uh, as a club, very active at promoting themselves and trying to fundraise um, at, at home as well. So um, no, great to have them here. And just as that shot was passing on, you could just see how the wind was catching blades. And the same thing here in the Latimer crew, just a little bit of lift on the on the blades from the wind here. But these girls are hanging in well. This is good. You know, this was a uh, they were fifth at Nat School's Latimer upper, so this is a tough opponent to meet. Um, but still, still trying to get back onto level terms here with Melbourne. Abigail Kirkwood in the stroke seat, Priestley the Cox for Latimer Upper School. And uh, she'll be painfully aware that work to be done here if they're to extend their stay at Henley. Latimer Upper School have got a lot of work to do, the Australians though. Have looked very controlled, very professional and mature performance from them. Got their lead and uh, look pretty intent on keeping it. Yeah, this is a classy, a classy crew from from Melbourne. I mean, they're, they're second at the national championships in Australia. So, um, yeah, they, they are they're a well drilled crew here. Even looking very smart with all their matching kits, socks and and yellow ribbons and hair and everything. You know, looking the part, great rowing. They'll be they'll be loving this. This is a, a good a good scout for them to take. So all these athletes have to be under 18 before last September the first. So they're all. Uh, either 18 now or 17 or in a couple of cases 16 years of age great experience you hope this inspires them to go on to, to greater things to return in years to come you might see them on the international lineups in years to come who knows well yeah i mean this this um this melbourne crew so half half of the eight have been involved in the um junior world rowing championships so it's uh you know it's a, it's a fairly talented uh, bunch of individuals in here so yeah ones, ones to watch for the future but great to have them racing here and you can just see yeah the wind's just catching both boats a little bit now just just rocking a bit side to side although the water shouldn't be phasing them too much as both crews do train on tidal water uh, so you think they'd be used to the movement but you know the wind the wind always just catches blades a little bit um you know un unpredictably Oh, big calls there coming yeah. from the boat, wasn't it? Sit right. back on it, lean into that wind. They've uh, got, their, got their heads back on and they're working hard in front of the regatta enclosure now. Closing 
stages of this race, but the Cox Alexandra Williams is not letting them slack off in any way. The Melbourne Girls Grammar School having to work hard here right to the line. Alexandra Williams demanding that of them. Well, that must be the pressure that Latimer are putting on them. You know, they're not making this comfortable and there's, there's definitely that need to sort of keep the urgency on this. There you can see Georgie Goff in the Melbourne bow seat. Very powerful, isn't it? Great acceleration there. You can see people leaning on the handles, really accelerating it through. Well, they're trying to put this race to bed, aren't they? They're just trying to get it done now. But Latimer up are proving difficult to shake off. They've done the job. He has to ease up in the next few strokes. Not far to go now in front of Stewart. Last couple of hundred metres of the race. They'll be feeling it. They've been made to work there, Melbourne. Uh, yeah, definitely, and, and with uh, with races like this into a headwind as well, it always feels that much more draining and energy sapping. So it's, it's totally right of the Cox there to be geeing people up and keeping the work rate up to make sure it's uh, a solid a solid win. Yeah, gasping for air, it'll look comfortable at the line. It wasn't that comfortable until uh, a couple of hundred metres from the end. Yeah, it never Latimer's, never is, but yeah, Latimer stuck at their task well made it competitive. Chips. Chips. It looks like they've had a, a very comfortable victory there. It's uh, anything but uh, three quarters of that race. So, there we have in the Prince Philip, Melbourne Girls Grammar School from Australia, moving into the next round, beating Latimer.